there's a difference between quitting and stopping. And I can't remember where I first read or heard mm. about that. It yeah. might have been it might have been Brene, Dr. Brene Brown, or it might have been some other another podcast that's named the name is escaping me. But they were talking right. about the difference between quitting and stopping. Yeah. And stopping is just you know you're taking a break. You're you're taking a you're taking a breather, you're reassessing, you are channeling, you are channeling one creative endeavor into something else that's also creative. So right. maybe you've stopped, maybe you've stopped writing and maybe you've stopped writing, um, this is not me, but like say I stopped writing short fiction, like I stopped writing short fiction and decided to write poetry or decided to write plays gotcha. or decided to write a novel. Um, or, you know, I started to cook, whatever it is. So right. there, that's stopping. And then quitting is just like, I'm I'm out. I'm done. I can't handle this. I, <laughs> yeah. This My sucks. Job. And mm-hmm. it's, yeah. So there's a difference. Right. So I wonder if like the Murphy Brown people just like, I want, oh man, I want to learn more about them. Did they just stop? Like maybe they stopped rather than quit. Maybe it was a long stretch of stopping. I don't know. Right. And and the article I read didn't say if it didn't make that distinction. Uh, it didn't mm-hmm. say whether they had just said, OK, I'm just going to take a breather. And, and sometimes you got to live on the farm like uh, Jim Carrey mm-hmm. took a breather and learned how to paint. And he's he's amazing at it. And, and then he's back in the show kidding on Showtime. So mm-hmm. he kind of pivoted and then came back. Um, I've spoken to writers who've who've just said, look, let me put a pin in this. Uh, it is harder uh, to come back. <laughs> and mm-hmm, I think this mm-hmm. is the fear that you're not starting at square one, but boy, it's, it feels like one and a half square two, like hopscotch where you have your one foot in one square and one in mm-hmm. another square. And I think mm-hmm. that's the fear uh, as well. Uh, but also, too, what I like about your story is uh, we have to be open to what God, the universe, whatever you want to call the entity tells you and, and listen to your instincts and be brave to say, OK, I may follow this down the road a smidge um, uh, and see if this is the way to go. Uh, so nothing certain, I guess, is your advice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Renee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's, I think I you know what I think the answer is to just realize that it's it's a continuum. It's it's mm. always going to change. And that if you're working in one medium or one area of expertise and it's not working, yeah. there's something else. There's something else. Okay. Always. Yeah. 